One of the strongest philosophy of approach was his ability to balance the religious sect in order to appreciate his type of music at the beginning, and he was to maintain his stance till he died. He had Islamic background and well versed in Arabic language, which forms his normal opening of any performance or album. But he was quick to extend such to Christianity and traditional belief system. It was relayed that when Parista decided to take a purely religious sound to the social circuit, he met a solid brick wall of resistance. After performing for fellow soldiers and their close friends, he got his big breakthrough when a well-known socialite on Martin Street, Alaki Gadubi, decided to give him a chance at a party that only the caliber of Alaki Aruna Ishola and Yusuf Olatuji were engaged to perform. Because Dr. Sikura and Debarista knew that he had very slim chance to impress this high hand socialite, he decided to play the songs of popular artists of that time in his own way, using his nuances. This ensured that no matter your preference, Barry will cover it, sometimes better than the original version. He revert to a strategy as 80-20 principles, 80% covered songs and 20% original composition, a system adopted by most of the upcoming musicians till today. Performances practice. I like the advanced performance style usually opens up with praises of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gradually slide into personal praises and then the initial dance. He had a way of regulating the tempo, even control the dancing crowd in front of him. We just tell them so that we can just you know create a breathing space for him. One of his winning strategies is the fact that he held tenaciously to the music lovers without any discrimination or segregation or class differential. He related with the high and low, the professionals and the ordinary citizens, irrespective of the status of such beings. He was a man of the people. In performance, he randomly picked any suitable method of singing, either proverbia, praise singing, prayers, and others, depending on the audience. For example, he used Owuro Olawa to preach using Akupo Gagara to capture the living life from adolescent to adulthood where we crawl using both the legs and hands when we were very young and as struggling to graduate to using two legs as adults with the introduction of the third leg at old age. His travels as Nigerian ambassador, which further exposed Fuji to the outside world. He was widely traveled, locally, nationally, and internationally. He was on standby and featured among his local communities, entertaining his fans, depending on the occasion, ranging from housewarming, wedding receptions, chieftaincy title takings, coronation ceremonies, and all. In addition, he embarked on several international tours and got series of awards, with particular mention in US in 1979, UK, Scotland, France, 1993, Germany, Amsterdam, Switzerland, US, 94, Canada, among others. In conclusion, when Sikilu and Deparista was alive, he was both a star and god of music, Fiji music. When he died, he remained a star, and at the same time, he turned an ancestor in the pantheon of all time. Great star musicians who had distributed this world like Colossi, that they were, Alaji Aga had the voice, the looks, he was commendably confident, and he had gripping and hair friendly sound. Of course, today's event and several others being organized in his honor within and outside Nigeria clearly demonstrated or evidenced his sojourn on heart and is qualified to borrow Julius Caesar's word. 
belly bidi kisi. I came, I saw, and I conquered for a lot of people on the other side. Idiot Kende Balogun, one of um, Alaji Sikira in the barista's wife. Um, I'm a Mademola. And um, we are here to join um, um, our father, Alaji Wasiwa in the animation, Maigun, um, for the celebration after Alaji Sikwa in the barista's date. So we are here to celebrate with him together. It is very, very, very important. Um, as we all know, Alaji Sikwa in the barista has really done a lot. He has done a lot here in Nigeria and worldwide. He's somebody everybody likes, love and respect. And um, he is he has, since his death, people have been celebrating him. And um, we still continue to celebrate him, which Alaji Wasiwa Inde, animation, is still doing today. And we are so grateful about it. So that's why we're always supporting. Even if we are not having money, we are here. We have to always join hands together with him to celebrate him, being a very good husband and a father to all our children. Alaji in the security in the barista, a very good man, very loving, caring, and accommodating, and very humble person. He is, oh, I don't know how to put it, but he's a very good man, very accommodating, He's always wanting to be around everybody. Uh, so far, God has chosen him to be a messiah. I'll say it that way. He's a messiah and he's always liking to be around every one of us, the children, the wives, all of us, even people that are not even any of our family. So we thank God today for the celebration we're always having about him. Actually, my favorite song is Sang For Me. It's um, the, it's, I think it's precaution that he sang Monshere um, Ni Kanada. Because the song, the song was sung for me. Monshere Ni Kanada. Elo Elondu, Musare Logbago, Woni Mokwe Womo, Muni Talobi Momo Lijireo, Omo Kenyi Demi, Ojila. Eleda di e lo bi mo, anike i di a tu lo bi mo, aso mo no lo ruko, ade mo la i lo ruko mo wa, ade kun le i de mo la o mo mi, a komu, ade kun le i de mo la o mo mi, a komu. So the song was directly dedicated to me. So for that, it has really made me to be a very popular person, which well, Alhamdulillah, we thank God for his life. His Excellencies, our great ambassadors of music industry, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Sikirwa Inde Barista represents today great numbers of our fallen heroes, particularly in the creative world, who left the shore of this world without deserved honor. Honor is superlative in, in the superlative sense. If not for the magnanimity of the organizers of this event and other ones, in about 10, 20 years time, the generations born then might not be privy to know this talented and enigmatic personality. Having been duly recognized nationally by the federal government of Nigeria, while alive with the award of MFR, I call on the state governors of Lagos and Oyo to assist in facilitating and constructing a gigantic destination Fuji in honor of Dr. Sikura in the Barista MFR. Having done you honor by projecting your culture and taking your names and placing them on global maps, Ayeye in Ibadan.
and Salawe in Salawe in Lagos. I strongly believe that such projects will generate revenues for the state and the entire Fuman. It will be a tourist destination. Once again, I thank the organizers of this event for the invitation and everyone in here for the rapt attention. Long live Fuman, long live Nigeria, and Siku and Yuka is my family of Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Tolili Ujuade, another round of applause for you. Well, my name is Mukare Eyumi. I'm an actor, producer, and also a director. I'm here purposely because of uh, the late Dr. Sekiro Ainde Barista and the living legend himself, Mayegu Asura Ainde Mashal. Uh, Dr. Sekiro Ainde Barista deserved even more than this because when he was alive, I always called him a legend. You know, he's a kind of person that I don't even believe he can die because of his inspiration. I love him so much. I love his music. I learned a lot about his music. So I believe he deserves to celebrate. Every, not even every, every day because like me, I always talk about Barista every day. No one, I'll just make it as an example. Ah, Barista have said it, Barista have said That is what they call a living legend. And all his music is evergreen. You replay and you replay, you replay and replay. You know, Barist, as an actor, I'm not a musician, but Barista, Dr. Sikra and Barista try in the music industry when it comes to Fuji. Even as of today, as of today, I still believe he's the only one. What is alive, when he was alive, up to now, now there's no more, but I believe he's still alive because I don't believe his music is still existing, you know. So one thing I believe is where Fuji is today, he was a pioneer that made Fuji stand. And special glory to uh, uh, Dr. Arasun and Marshall with the cop because when he left, he had to take it from where he dropped the music and he's taking it to another level. So Fuji music still stand. I'm telling you, they still stand. And Barista, the legacy is there, and which I believe they will still live on, 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 on. You know, the way it is now, that is why I'm always trying to give kudos to uh, Mayegu himself, where he's taking Fuji to. I don't believe Fuji will be existing, and all the people following him, they are all trying to take Fuji to the another level, another step, every day, every minute. So I definitely assure people that Fuji music has come to stay. That is me. Of course, of course, of course, of course. You know, even there was a time we, we produced Fuji theater, Fuji theater, Fuji music. Yes, Fuji music has an impact in the uh, Nigerian movie industry, even in theater, traveling theater. Because, you know, like Dr. Sikra and Deva Arista, my late father, when they, were alive, when they were alive, they always work hand to hand, they work together. You know, Fuji is into theater, theater is into music. That is why I'm here. So Fuji music has contributed a lot into theater, and theater, you know, at times, if you listen to one Dr. Osegra and Barista, and there's this man, is the late now, Alaji uh, Yekin Ajileye, you can see Barista's music, you have to take from, you know, uh, you know, that is from theater, that is Fuji and theater. Yeah. Let me tell you the truth. All Barry's last song is the best to me. I can't say this is the best, but me, I love every music. I need to do a bar. I want to my you. To party rolling, come and roll you. To party rolling, keep my congo. I need to do a bar. I need to do a bar. Where are you? A round of applause for you. Please step up. Let's do your two minutes sharp sharp. Your two minutes sharp sharp. Uh, I will also be singing a barista song. I'm not made up my mind which one to sing. 
because I, I know quite a lot. I remember when Alaji Barista and I used to sit down together to write all those songs back in the days. But me, for me, I got it. Evangelist Ebenezer Obe Fabi. Can I have a round? Legend, 
o le ma wa yoruba pe ati nkan kan wa le bayi so you we do because ton ma pon baba ile ta wa no ba le sise dibe ma kan wa le ta ba lo ton so ko lo ba de forun ke baba o se pataki gan even gan lodo dun la ma ma se ti gbugbu a ma ma fu wule ta ma ma se no ma even gemi ga tu gbe wa si badan awon na se ti wa invite awon te ku because baba is from ibadan ojo wa di fuji ti da na o o ti da e wo awon mi ni daruko awon music mi ko na gbe boya no ka awon music mi ojo wa ju fuji o du gan te ba wo awon mi ni da mo sorry lati soro de be yin to e ma binu awon awon music mi won ti ku so fuji si wa o si yes o si yes so ojo wa ju fuji awa awo ojo wa ju fuji la do awon mi de tun bole yin to tun ko o tun ma da ju bayi imo ron mi fa won ni fuji ni pe kan fi kan wo awon ti wa ju kan fi awon ko kan ko gbon awon mi kan fi ko won ma pe kini kan ogbon ati ariko se so kan wa ariko se won kan de fi ko gbon iruwa temi mu wu sin kan fi mi ko gbon iruwa ta won ara wa ju wu kan fi se ariko gbon ati ariko se wa ma ara e wa se ma do ju o Adebola Boloria Kondi, popularly known as Nice. I'm here to, in support of our legend, our father who has passed away for a long time, uh, just to celebrate him. Uh, not only when they are alive, we should celebrate him, even after when they are gone. And um, we have a perfect person to, to bring us together to come all out and support, celebrate the legend as well. Who am I talking talking about? Sasikra and the barista. Kotsi. Uh, so we are, we are all here and I'm happy to be here. Remove the grind, anybody is there. What's Fuji? There's nothing. <laughs> That's how he put out his. I mean, they are the one that started this thing. So they are like the grounding father. And um, just like the way people are celebrating Fela, we should celebrate the grind, anybody is there. Even not, if, in fact, more. Because uh, there are legends, there are people who have sacrificed a lot for us to be here today. Uh, musically, forget about the genre now. We're talking about music generally in Nigeria, so I'm happy to be here once again. Yes, it does. I mean, if you can tell me to sing three, four, five, six, seven. Even you asking me the question, you know that his music influenced almost all of us. To the extent that we saw, I remember when we saw Garbage, Ile Yang Bai, you saw Garbage design, you go and meet fashion designer, tell them you want Garbage design. They put like, some rectangular shape rope in front of your design. So, I mean, what more can you be influenced? How more? So many of the songs. So many. Garbage. So many of the songs. So many of the songs. Mungodogo, Olawi. Olawado, Mungo, Talawani. Awashi. Thank you. Fuji music uh, might be given another name in the nearest future. Mark my word today. It might not be called Fuji anymore. 
or it might be called Fuji, but it's not going to be done the way it's been done. Fuji music gave back to so many other genres of music, even the so-called Afro hip hop that we do. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's why I said it might not be called Fuji in the nearest future. It might become something else, but the backbone and the bottom is still Fuji. <laughs> So I was be by Lenin to the Ayeye Babawa, Dr. Sikiru, late Dr. Sikiru in the barista, Oludasi Le Fuji. Eh, Le Kola Koko, Odo Dona Manshi, Betile, Ele Naka Sarauto, Atisi Kane Badan, I think by February 13. Last month, so Elena, Oton Jara or Tolini, but the Simama say from late security in the barista or Doni to rent to bar watching can or Yaki and say from Ipa will have a good uncle and to dunk concealer or Ludasile. So Ibella like bad that in your tea, only booba, a less secure Nisokoto, a lumen virna bata. So and to our same kind, oh Yakali, ma say. I wouldi lay it in one lot, come and be say one laruge. I then do a lot of long pay. You are duty one do you call Oda and it's unfisile and uncle budget. Need Latin Thomas and my beer. Fuji music, none in number one. Nina Jidia at any book back by Yepata Pata. Book born in Tobande, one can to Fuji lay in. Fucho Fuji music, oh bright gun. Oh bright, but my bright tag tie my fake pardon. I am a man who is 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 a man we welcome you to this occasion. My own brother, Egwami Omoju Shagola. Omoju Shagola. Oh, you call me Nidemi. Thank you so much for your support, and we appreciate you for ever positioning the DG music in which many other people are finding means of livelihood. The change that has been accompanied the Fuji music in recent years can never be overemphasized. When we are talking about reduction in unemployment, 
that is one of the areas that is fast growing. And because the people that have led that is doing very well, so we appreciate you. Then my colleagues in the ministry, I have here the HC Housing, Honorable Fatai Akinteru, the HC Information and Strategy, Honorable Omotosho, and my partner in the ministry, Honorable Bonu Soloma, yeah. and the member of the Lagos State House of Assembly, my in law, my in law. The only of one you buy, the only of one you buy in the house, and my predecessor in the Ministry of Tourism and Culture, Honorable Steve Ayonide. I will see you and I salute you. Thank you so much. And everybody, we are all distinguished. So I recognize all distinguished personality in this room. Yes, yeah, this is the first one, and I know it's the beginning of beautiful things that will be happening in the industry. Lagos State has seen entertainment as one of the pillars that need to be promoted. And that is why the fifth pillar of Team's agenda, the E there is all about entertainment and tourism. And when we are talking about entertainment, we know without music, there's nothing to entertain. And without Fuji, there's no music. So therefore, we are here to celebrate ourselves. We're here to promote what we believe in. And that is why you can see all the members that are just by every other important activities to come around to celebrate the colloquium with the organizer. And I must appreciate the organizer of today's event because many people will feel like doing it, but it's not an easy one to take the lead. And for those people that are taking the lead in organizing this event, I salute your courage. And I believe this is just the beginning of good things that will be happening in the entertainment industry in future and precise in Lagos State. And I want to assure you that Lagos State government, under the leadership of our own, our neighbor, do and talk, Mr. Governor, Mr. Babaji De Olu Sholasa who will continue to partner and collaborate with this association, with this entity that have shown themselves to be the pillar of youth employment in Lagos State and by extension in Nigeria. So that we can continue to promote the good music and promote the entertainment industry. And Lagos State be the hub of entertainment in Nigeria. We put our support at all. Thank you for your attention. God bless you. I'd like to recognize especially Fancy Ayi Alabu. Can I have a round of applause for you? Tunde Damendra and Ojonsi Ajani. Ever before all that's a word. Modinot Bali. Tunde, can I have a round of applause for her? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to hear the, the most important part of any colloquium is to have a few people step up on stage and discuss all that we've heard. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, distinguished listeners, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mama Kel Lawal, and I am the moderate, moderate of uh, this panel. I'm happy to see this one. Smile! Okay. Um, very quick, I'll be asking my first question, sir, and I'm directing this question to Mr. Steve Ayoride. Okay? My question. Fuji music has evolved from generations to generations. How much has the Fuji of yesterday influenced the Fuji music of today? All right, thank you. Um, 
Good afternoon, your excellencies, legends of the building, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in terms of influence, I think Fuji has remained Fuji. Uh, you know that if we are talking about the history of this beautiful genre of music, I mean, it, it, it's about the same history as the history of Nigeria to an extent. If you look at uh, where it's coming from, from Wiri, you know, you'll be know, so we'll talking about 50, 60, maybe 70 years uh, for Fuji itself. So, um, what I think has happened is that Fuji has remained constant. So, the influence has been proper. Um, the only paradox that I see is that yes there seems to be a kind of renaissance uh, but that is on the part of audiences uh, fuji has not died but then the flip side of it is that fuji is also aging and you will see from the people in the house we are celebrating barista right barista would have been 74 if he was alive Keeping Quora and Archie Colinti is here. Practically 90% of those who are still propelling the gospel of Fuji music are now getting old. 1965. Um, majority, if you mention the top 10 Fuji artists or top 20, they are the same people that we have been listening to in the last yeah. 20, maybe 25 years. That is good on the one hand, but on the other hand, it, it, it simply means that uh, maybe which is not doing enough to bring up younger generation of artists. And, and one clear example would be that uh, where is the generation of the Shanko Rashi, who ordinarily ought to be taken over from those who are still very relevant, even in their late forties, in their fifties, in their sixties, and of course in their seventies. So it's a paradox. Is Fuji influencing younger generation of artists? I would say yes, we're not seeing it enough, but one that you cannot deny is the fact that Fuji is also influencing and inspiring artists in other genres. We watched a documentary now, and somebody said, uh, Zazu is not music. Who says it's not music? It is content for a different level of audience. And in any case, Kevin Kwara is here. Everybody knows that the if you trace the inspiration of Sazu, it's from his music, isn't it? You know, it's from Kevin Kwara's, you know, Firmu Jejogu, Jejogi, Sazu, in those days. Maybe it might be different in terms of how Portable has done his own. Um, Olamide's brand of music stem from street. Street is Fuji. And then the bigger example will be Whiskey. When he first came at 21, uh, with uh, what was that song again? Sorry, Pakuruma. What would be the inspiration of uh, Govind of Ifashola, blah blah, Akinyo, and then you know, and you are pre singing in the hip hop song. The inspiration is Fuji when they have become bigger, winning Grammys, doing this and that. Don't let, don't let them forget that part of the inspiration that propelled them to where they are today. Is Fuji. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That was that was a lot. Oroko mi ni adore mi ayinde aluko ti mo ko fuji e mo wa bi nitori alaji doctor late sikiro ayinde barrister ni gbugbu asibele mi gbon se wa bile ni so because mo gbon ni pa pe awon igbe wa fuma ani program for alaji so mo de ni lati wa bi so because mi no ara fuji en de mi no fin jam ni mo fin bo ya won fin bo mo so that's it ah e pa to ko pogon because if I talk about gun, you really make me drool. It's my brain sorry. Because I talk about gun, you fugit me no. I want you to talk about you jubelo. That man is coming so don't worry. Alaji late, secure in the barrister. Or all my poor because I should talk about life. I want fugit. So when you just keep fugit, my feet are numb. So fugit is the pain of life. So I should talk about giri gun. That man is she. In court, he could go out in the Yoruba land. Because our town of Fuji, Tongue of Fuji, John Yoruba, to buy people who are in Yoruba. One of the paraphors, Rebbe Rebbe Fung, late Dr. Sikura, Yoruba, and to be a Jubel. 
future of Fuji, Okpogon, because we want to switch to all of them, to all of them, Fuji, to all of them, on tele trending, because trending to one time, we want to shake it, long tele, because we want to one day Fuji, see Iran Walaji, late barista, to all of them, to be Kale. Theory, you know, it's more clear. You buy it. You want to feel, weakness. You want buy. I'm more senior. Le, on le, we draw that we stand there because what you have to see be, what she read you tell her. So move more quickly. Fuji, go le pano no because I come out tele trending. Got to share the money. Eh, more no money for money. Quickly, can't go build yourself. Go the mountain she. You know, can't have a she. Can't wait to me. Be, can't you move a she? Because to batu wa determine to koro pe boya boya to do koro wong koko nche lo koro nche aje pe umonto nche ni but wa determine koro pe kini yo mi fe molo kuku do so wali get to the stop. Um, sir, to Mr. Um, Mayor Akinpele, this for you, sir. Majority of the new school are of the opinion that Fuji music is for the lower class. Yes, and um. Uh, lower class of the society, how best do you think this notion can be corrected as the genre of music actually appeals to all classes of people? Um, let me start by saying that that assertion is wrong. Music is not for the lower class of society. Music is universal, so there is not really class. What you have is jewelry and jewelry, but it's not class, so that's not true. Sorry, for the, for Sorry the, sir. But the difference is that, the difference is that, um, that the evolution of Fuji, when you look at it, starting from where it to now become what it is. You know, initially when it was where it, it was basically to serve a religious purpose. Wake up Muslims, for them to be able to do one of the things of Islam. Eventually, it was commercialized and it became Fuji because you now see a jewelry artist now going to queen parties and being professional instead of something that was supposed to be a religious um, um, that was sad to sad the platform. But when you look at when you look at Fuji now, by the time you look at if you remember the, the song that came out a long time uh, from Fuji, but we start changing Fuji to what it is today. He, he was able to he was able to bring it to a higher level where it appealed the, there was a cross appeal to a lot of people. And then people that came out at that time, came back one or two, you know, because they were, they were contemporaries, both of them were able to, when they left the army, to be able to make Fuji, to become a commercial music and appeals to a lot of people. Then people who came out at them, like K1, has been able to now move it higher, introduce different things for them to eat. We now have Twitter, we now have piano, we now have spin, and all that. So there is no way you can listen to it and say it's for it's for it's for the lower class. No, it's not. The, and when you look at that's why it is important that Fuji must look at what the future should be. The future of Fuji will be. Um, I will say that you can see the future of Fuji in song that K1 released at the Oriok. And I will, I will share that. I will share an experience with you. Last year I was in Atlanta, USA. And some of my friends took me to a nightclub in, in, in Atlanta. He, he, he is a white, the white fellow, so the DJ was a white guy. Apparently, um, one of these top comedians, a white, was also in the club that night. Maybe the guy had that, that some Nigerians in the club. So he started playing Nigerian music. He started with um, 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 Father Boy, then he played that he he played his then when we were looking, I just had pa pa na pa na 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 pa 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 na, and I, I and I started playing at the rock thing. I was excited because this is a traditional African music. You understand, being played in a nightclub by a white DJ because it is it did not understand what Mama was saying, but the reading, but the reading, if you if you if you understand the reading, because the music was fast, the music was modern. And the music was dancing. So, for Fuji to move forward, Fuji artists must know that they have to do 
music that will appeal to the younger people. That is the future for them. They must do music that will appeal to the younger folks. And the music must be fast, it must be modern, and must be dancing. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, um, I think the reason for that question is, for most of us, like growing up, me, I had an experience with my dad. Okay, I had this neighbor, his name is Baba Farouk, I can never forget. When he went home in the morning, he was up with, with Fuji song. And I can remember very well, I was in the kitchen one day, so the man was playing, um, sorry, I don't my like that song. So the other one, she said, no, don't do it, but I hear it. So why do you want to sing it? I know this song, so now, no, she made the song along. The next thing was, why? What are you singing? I've seen the music in my house. No, sir. I think my dad actually disciplined me that thing. I would have loved to, like, you know, know more about Fuji music, but I don't know why they just sing, don't sing Fuji music and sing other songs. You know? And I'm not the only one with the experience. It's like the box probably we had because the beginner said the same thing like that. Like, just say, don't sing Fuji music in the house. But it's actually interesting. I feel like the lyrics, the, the sound, the tune, very interesting. That is why I asked that question. Sir. Can I just give it to you? Just two quick uh, yes, reactions to that. Yes, uh, one is the fact that it's about perception. Um, in Lagos State today, the, the social, the language of social music is Fuji. And if you go to, and you can see that from Lagos State establishment, A1, my ego is, is like the, is like the unremovable factor in Lagos State social life. And, and, and who is that? That's the top actually of the social class. So you can't, you can't, so it's about perception. The other part uh, is to liken it to a uh, fixation with the premiership. A lot of people will tell you that in Nigeria today, maybe especially in Lagos, there are those who support Chelsea, a particular. They are good. Not good. Good. <laughs> but then, but then, but then, that is the wrong perception of it. You know, the the most obeying, the most intellectual, the most upwardly mobile supporters of the Premiership in Nigeria are Chelsea fans. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. For life. For life. Okay, that's your question actually. The future, future of music, yes. Because you represent this generation. Yes. Um, so we have created, Fuji Opera has created a multi dimensional platform that recognizes the past, past and also reimagines the future of the genre. And over, um, over two years now, we've been able to speak to certain target audiences. Definitely the new millennials and generations as well. Having um, conversations with them, creating um, entertainment formats, um, entertainment series, or should I call social events, social events where we can interact with this younger generation. Um, we started off with an exhibition in 2020, um, which showcased the rich, um, rich culture of Fuji and, and subculture. So it was not just about the music, but also about art as well, fashion. So it was through memorabilia and also archived uh, footages and interviews uh, where we honored uh, Barry Stella in 2020. And then we com commenced with uh, the live music showcase. In 2021, we've, we created like a, pop, a box pop series as well, going to Fuji communities, the core fans, and having conversations with them on where uh, the, the genre is at the moment. And then we've been having amazing receptions from them as well. And then I can also say that we've created like a podcast series because we need to know the tools that we need to engage the younger, the newer generation of music lovers um, using the likes of um, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, um, Clubhouse as well, or Twitter spaces where we can have conversations with this younger generation on how, the, how this genre can become bigger and keeping the genre alive, basically. So we've created a podcast series as well in partnership with Fullman, who has been very, very supportive, um, interacting with um, a lot of um, Fuji artists as well. And it's available on different um, 
training platforms as well. And then in 2021, um, December, we created a unique music platform called Fuji Vibrations, where we acknowledged, um, we acknowledged um, established artists, the likes of um, the likes of um, Alaji Merenge, the likes of Remy Alukuatawe, where Kes Von Malaika, but not leaving the emerging new artists who are very, very relevant in today. So the likes of Adisa Hemesi, Akani Ololo, and this, so this platform, platform was designed to just showcase this genre and keep it alive. Uh, so I think that the future of, um, of Fuji music is, it's very imperative that we speak to the younger target audiences. As much, and I agree with um, what Mr. Steve Ayundi said as well, I agree that there has to be some sort of fusion and then progression with the sound as well. But we should also showcase different platforms, not just music, but also in art, in different facets, which which are opera doors. Okay, sir. The last question. Okay, sir. I'm sorry, but I also want to say something. The younger generation always insists on things being fast, being, being modern, and all that. But will that not lose the very essence of Fuji music itself? No, it will not. You know why it will not? No, it will not. Why it will not is that if you look at Fuji, if you look at Fuji, you know, uh, because music is dynamic, at a time, at a time, Fuji music was dominating the music industry. In fact, um, Juju musicians were forced to start playing Fuji. Even in churches, you will see that they play readings from Fuji. But, but at that time, it was still sectional. I didn't cut across the youth until Pawan did consolidation. We changed and appealed to the younger elements. It's like a it's like a hip hop thing, like the kind of thing that I said that is like a infusing hip hop into Fuji at that time. And and it worked. If you look at Juju, there have been a very a lot of successful Juju musicians. When Shino Peters did approach you and it became very successful when it started with Ace, it's because the music was fast, the tempo was fast, it was danceable. And that is what really appeals to the younger people. So because music is dynamic, for you to capture them, you have to appeal to them. Because all our superstars now that are winning Grammy, the only thing they are just doing is playing Afrobeat and then visiting it with traditional music. You understand? But people love it. It cuts across. It was able to win Grammy. So you you cannot you cannot you cannot lose without losing the essence of that music, you must broaden the scope of those you have built. Okay. Thank you very much. Just this last question. Yeah, I would love Mr. Uh, Mayor Kibeli to answer and Mr. Stephen, just in one minute. Uh, how can this generation of Fuji act? with evolved styles and sound, be encouraged to achieve more without worry of their style not being accepted in the Fuji world? Well, I mean, it's very simple. Um, that actually goes same with what we can uh, There is no static style to music. Uh, Whiskey's music is not like Brother Boys or Dicky, but that is still within the same genre of Afrobeats, even though I have a problem that I don't know what it means. That, that, you know, that, that shouldn't be what you know, we should accept. But that's, that's a different argument. So how can um, Fuji endure? Let them continue to play. Because like we said you know, the other time, the main fact that it has survived in its original form for almost 50, 60 years means that there is substance in what is there. So let them continue to play. Uh, there is no youth that is a youth forever. Youth do grow to the adults. So they mature with the sound and the music. And therefore, what would be important in addition to playing good music, and good music is relative, it's not about content. You know, the form, the style, and everything just have to appeal to the audiences. So what is important is to continue to how do I put it to ensure that Fuji music endures? And part of what that will require is in 
is in doing the kind of thing, the thing that uh, Fuji uh, Opera guys are doing, create platforms where the elder ones can continue to play and then you can discover new ones. And then let's do the kind of the thing that TK is doing. Look at the way he has celebrated uh, Aila Mogura. Now he's preparing to make a film about Barista. As good as, yes, absolutely, he's, he's working on that. But as good as that is, let us also put it in our consciousness that our legends, our stars, our icons do not have to die before we celebrate them. So if Biopic can be made for Baba Commander, Chief Minister will be, for Kevin Quora, before they leave, uh, an argument that I've had with my friends who have had the privilege of managing Bible for a long time is that how come we do not have a definitive biography or documentary, not a biopic now, about him. And I, and I think that we had this argument when he was going to be 55. Ten years after, he has got 65. Are we waiting till he's 70? So don't let us continue to wait. Because the more we document them, the more we celebrate them, the more we will give um, good instructions and inspiration to the younger ones that there is a reason for them to continue to be Fuji artists. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, just the last one. My own advice to the younger Fuji musician is for them to succeed, they must do, they must, they must do in a better way what the pathfinders are doing. Because the ingredient for success is already in that music. You understand? Because when you look at Fuji, the evolution of Fuji from being Aichiwere, I was using only Sakara. That was the that was the dominant rhythm within, within the context there. But now you will see that that is Sakara, that is Akwala, that is guitar, that is sax, that is everything. It's because of the modern modernization of the music. So they have to learn from there to know that they must make their music to appeal across the board. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. That'll be all. So, just, just one second, if you don't mind. Okay, uh, sir. Vega, please, I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I know that we're running out of time. I just thought that I should respond uh, briefly to the very brilliant idea that Professor Ojuadi dropped the other time uh, about creating a Fuji Museum, something grand. All I would like to say is that, frankly speaking, we do not need to wait for something grand before we. Uh, cement the legacy of Sikiru and the barista. And we have something ready made, which is Fuji changed by Solo. Yes. Uh, TK has been there, uh, uh, my even mentioned something like that. Um, appeal to government, appeal to donor, donor agencies, because if you rely on government, the government also, you know, looks for money from donor agencies to build this kind of structures. So if you are saying, let us have something grandiose, it may never happen, or it may not happen soon. But then Fuji Chamber is there. We have two options. Is either the trust or the family of the current labor staff, you know, want to say, let us build this thing and share or give it to the developer. Or you make something, uh, a legacy out of it. And these days, you know all the uh, general agencies that are giving millions of dollars for worthy courses like that. A Fuji Museum, a resource center, is what I see in Fuji Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, please, uh, you know, like I said, I'm also a Fuji artist. I'd like to meet these donors so they can turn my house to a resource center. I beg. Can I have a round of applause for Lord New York people? Mr. Steve Ayoribe, my sister Kichi, Obidi, and Moroma. Can you take a picture with the. Can I have a file? And. Um, Mr. Goldmine, please take a picture with the... They can have the prof. Can the prof please join us? Professor, thank you. And president of Human Fresh Juice.
My name is um, Ambassador Suleiman, popularly known as Atawewe, Mr. Spirit. So right now we're in the Radinson Blue for Dr. Sikira and Gebarista Kodokom, what they are doing today. So, um, it's very, very important to be here today because what, we are, uh, what they are doing here it's not only for the late um, legend of the Fuji music, it's for everybody. As far as you're a musician, you sing Fuji, you sing hip hop, any, as far as entertainment is concerned, you are supposed to be here. So people like me are supposed to be here because, and this is what gives me the, um, this is what put food on my table. So I have to be here, that is why I'm here. I've told you, that is the man that put food on my table because it's the man who gave us the job opportunity. It's the one who, who made us who we are today. So it paved, uh, it paved the way and everybody followed the trend. So it's very, very important in everybody that sings. I'm not, it's not about only Fuji because Fuji is the root and a lot of music have emulated what they are doing through Fuji. If you can hear all the hip-hop now, they can't sing without putting Fuji in what they do. So that shows how important Dr. Sikura and the barista in, in the society. So why is alive, why is late, is very, very important to everybody, as far as you are a musician. We can't do without celebrating Dr. Sikura and the barista. We can't do without him. Every, every day you wake up, you sleep, you wake up, you are blessed. So, if you think about if you think about where you are, where you are coming from, and where you are heading to, you know it's supposed to be celebrating every blessed morning. It's like an uh, it's like a prophet. So, like we say, there's no way you're gonna pray. We Muslim, you will not mention Anabim Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Christian will mention Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. So, there's no way you're gonna recite the Quran without mentioning. Um, Surat al Fatiha. So, Dr. Sikra and the barista is like Prophet Muhammad, Jesus Christ, and Surat al Fatiha. So, you have to mention him and praise him and give glory to God on his behalf. That is what you are seeing now. The future is very, very bright. So bright. Yeah. Because any job you are doing, and a lot of people are tapping from it, making end living, paying their bills. So that shows the future of the job. It has a long way to go. So the future is so, so bright. As you can see, we, um, um, King Wazan and Masha take it from where Dr. Sikra and and Alaji Kolinta and that step. So we take it from him to another level. To another level. So the, the upcoming one, they're going to take it from wherever we stop to the next level. So Fuji has done a lot and it's been accepted all over the world. It's accepted globally. If you, uh, if you can see, if we, before, it's just like uh, uh, when they do naming, when they do, but now you see every Fuji artist in the concert, both home and abroad. That shows that the Fuji music is going beyond expectation. We sure hope you enjoyed this video. For more entertaining video content such as behind the scenes of music videos and movies, music concerts, premieres, interviews and exclusive gists, subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super excitement.